Good morning. It's uh, a little past 11. I slept maybe seven hours. Fell asleep around four. Worked until two last night. Then watched some YouTube videos. I have a lot of things to do now, to right now before I wake up. Uh, wake up, go to my Muay Thai practice. So let's get to work. First thing on my task list is I need to find headphones for my father. He has a birthday soon and this is what he wished for. So I've been just comparing a few headphones. <clears throat> All the words unsaid I let my thoughts corrupt and spread It's time to make a change I'm trying to clean out the mix for the final release i think i will release this in december around december after my event for i mean it's not a christmas track but for christmas i know myself good enough that if i'm gonna wait too long with the release i'm just gonna get too self aware of the track at some point of the singing because it's it's not nearly perfect but i mean in the end the people who are listening to it they don't really focus on it that much or maybe some of them do but that's not the point right it's, it's to share something really emotional and this has a really emotional burden i think on some other video i will explain it a bit more deeper what what the emotional uh, emotional attachment for me is but yeah it's one of the most powerful tracks i've made considering about my what has been going around in my life and that's why also I want to put it out for the people to hear and maybe help them in their own or help them in their own situations, uh, however you want to call it. Even though for me, it's, it's a bit difficult, especially because it's such a emotional track. But for as an artist, uh, that's your job to put out stuff that makes you really vulnerable. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. So what I what I often do is I pull out a track that no works really well on different sound systems to that track I already have, and then I A and B different parts of the track to see if it's good enough, if something I could improve, and work for them because uh, your brain gets really accustomed to all the music and sounds that you make when you listen to it long enough and it fixes a lot of the issues so it's really nice to have something to compare it to so it shows you the truth a lot faster because especially because you're emotionally attached to the tr music it's really hard to know if something is what it's supposed to be so m mixing and mastering a lot of people don't actually do it themselves because they are too close to the project and that they don't see all the problems or issues that might arise. But I like doing it because it gives me all the pow uh, power and it's just faster this way for me. And also I haven't found a good mixing mastering engineer for it. I actually haven't been looking. I've tried a few ones and it usually it's paid too much and taking too much time from me. I like doing it for now. In the future, maybe someday, I will not be doing it, but for now, I, I I do it. And it's really nice to do it because you also learn a lot. Just uh, trying different kinds of thumbnails, fonts and colors to see what kind of gets your eye. And it's clear and concise. It's not easy. I mean, I have some graphical design uh, back uh, 
experience because I've been making the events and doing some some of them and always being in the process. But thank God Canva is really easy. So it's actually pretty doable, but I still definitely need to improve on it a lot. Not sure what I can show you, but uh, uh, surprises. I had to do some accounting. Always a happy surprise. Always nice to focus on some other thing you do. And then somebody ah, pay my invoice. Um, then you start doing that. Then you realize, oh, there's seven other invoices I need to pay. Well, now it's down. Now we get back to the thumbnails. Just finalizing my future biography. Check, uh, check out a little bit of it and let me know what you think. A light in the darkness of Northern Europe has begun to shine. Martin Karma, Finland's most promising techno artist known for his stormy performances is spreading his wings into the world of techno. I was trying to finalize all the media card stuff for the booking agencies to send on email, but now I got another email that I need to send my press kit. And then I realized my press kit is not quite uh, updated, so now I have to do that. My to-do list... Uh, I mean, origina origi originally I have seven, eight things to do on the to-do list, but now it's been maybe 15 because I remember something and <laughs> I do more. That's just how it usually goes. Now finally I can get to my emails, I can send them out, then I will have some lunch. Finished lunch. Now I'm exporting some stuff for my father. He's a classical pianist and he asked me to do some slight mastering on his uh, classical pianist music. Uh, I need to render these and hopefully have some time to send rest of the emails and maybe something else. But I only have around one hour left before I have to go to them what I practice so let's see I was able to finish up the emails but that's about it for today now just driving to my Thai boxing practices I was really hoping to get at least one more thing done uh, the TikTok filming but that will have to be done tomorrow I guess uh, too many things just came last minute. That's just uh, life as an entrepreneur, really. Sometimes I wonder if uh, doing the thigh boxing is a good idea because, well, right now I could be in the studio working for the next four hours, I'd say. But, I mean, it's hard. To know what's the what's the right choice but I get so much uh, enjoyment and happiness from from working out and especially when I started Thai boxing the high you get after a good workout session it's uh, I mean gym ses sessions don't even get close to that level of high and peace peacefulness mindfulness you get from that so it's, you're so in the moment present for two hours that after after that, everything feels like a breeze. So it's just it's pure ther pure therapy, at least for me. And I know a lot of the people feel the same way. So it's hard it's hard to give it up anymore. But what what I've been trying to do is wake up a bit little bit earlier. Not like today. I woke up at eleven because I stayed up until four a.m. last night. And, and kind of uh, make my workday start a bit sooner. So when I end my workday, then I just straight Thai boxing. So then it wouldn't be four or five hours that I'm missing from my workday, but only maybe three. But yeah, it's a, it's a big sacrifice doing the Thai boxing for sure, because Two, two to four times a week and at least three hours per session I lose work-wise and oftentimes after the workouts I'm really fatigued so my I can't focus as well either 
so it kind of hinders hinders everything else but it's just so it's so good for me mentally keeps me keep keeps me a lot more sane than I would usually be now during during when I drive I'm gonna start doing some uh, vocal practices that's how I like to utilize my time when I'm driving Took me by surprise. I can help but see you running. How are you feeling after a workout? Very good. You really like to risk our life for a vlog. <laughs> now gonna drive home, go to the sauna, maybe, and then I have a decent amount of food to eat. At least I should have. I've only eaten thousand calories uh, in the start of the day. So now I'm I have 1500 for the evening so pretty much in one to two hours I can eat almost as much as I want obviously not but uh, 1500 is quite a lot of calories to fit in to two hours so I can pretty much have a mini feast that's my strategy it's not optimal for the best kind of sleep but I've been testing not eating less before going to sleep and I mean in the short run at least I haven't felt ha felt a huge difference it's a bit harder for me to fall asleep when I don't eat before going to sleep but that's probably more that some that's probably more about not being used to it I feel like so it would be better if I wouldn't eat as much before going to bed but you can't always be per perfect life is not perfect and that's how I like it I like to have a prize in the end of the day and that's my thought process so when I've done a good days of work done my training I go home I chill with my girlfriend have a good meal and then I don't have to worry about ah I can't eat enough and obviously if you would be a regular as human being then you wouldn't worry about eating too much ever but I'm super conscious about uh, my weight and I have a slight uh, eating not, not slight but I have an eating disorder in a way uh, so I do count it pretty meticulously and if let's say last weekend on one day I ate 4,000 calories then I usually try to eat less on the next week so my weight weight wouldn't fluctuate too much this is actually the first year that I've been able to keep my weight pretty consistent usually let's say I no, no just no fuel uh, usually before Christmas weight my weight weight I have a little bulk I go up to 80 kilo kilos and then I diet, diet down to 72 to 74 kilos and I've been repeating that cycle for two or three years now but this year I dieted down to 73 kilograms and right now I'm around 74 a little bit over 74 kilograms so just maybe 1.5 kilograms gained 1 to 1.5 I'm not really sure so I don't have to diet as hard this summer keep it shorter or then I can diet as hard and get to even better shape which could be nice as well 
but let's see what I'm gonna do. I haven't quite decided yet. Dieting is really tough and last year the relationship didn't it wasn't too good good of a time for our relationship at, at, at the end of the relationship because I was really grumpy all the time because I couldn't ha eat any calories I was tired and I was just not enjoying life but it's it's really nice with the diet sometimes to reset your uh, reset your appetite because if, if you're getting really tired of the food you're eating just do a diet for a couple of weeks and everything tastes amazing I'm just plain I don't know whatever just eat a fucking regular rice sandwich and it will taste good or chicken and rice will be the most amazing meal of your life with vegetables and you will eat every spoonful <laughs> with pleasure Tere. <laughs> <laughs>